immediately feel overwhelmed and trepidation when thinking about buying or selling a home. The intricacies of real estate transactions can often be complex and daunting for many individuals. In our capacity as licensed realtors, Serena and I strive to alleviate any sense of overwhelm and trepidation you may experience throughout the process of buying or selling real estate. Today, we are going to share with you a quick guide to contingencies and how these may affect you as a buyer or seller. Let's get started. First, let's start with defining contingency in real estate. A contingency is a clause in almost every formal real estate contract that must be met by a buyer or seller in order to move to the next step in the contract, protecting both the buyer and the seller. When contingencies are not met, a breach in contract could occur or ultimately the transaction could fail. According to a recent study done by the National Association of Realtors in July 2021, the overall percentage of transactions that fail is relatively small at roughly 5% of all purchase agreements. Jen, can you explain the various types of contingencies that are in a residential purchase agreement, or also known as an RPA? Of course, Serena, I would love to. The various types of contingencies found in the RPA include financing, appraisal, investigations, disclosures, title, inspection, and home sale contingencies. We cover contingency sales in another episode, so please click the link below to watch that video. Today, we will focus on brief explanations of financing, appraisal, investigation, disclosures, title, and inspection contingencies. Serena, before jumping into the explanations, let's talk about timelines. How long are standard contingencies? Sure, Jen. In a standard RPA, the buyer has 17 days to remove their contingencies. However, they will not automatically be waived, meaning that if the buyer exceeds the 17 days, the seller has a right to deliver an NBP or notice to the buyer to perform, giving the buyer two additional days to remove the contingencies. If the buyer does not comply, the seller may cancel the contract. Jen, can you give us an example of a finance contingency? And is it more than just a pre-qualification or a pre-approval letter? Sure, Serena. Yes, this is more than the pre-approval letter submitted by your lender at the time you were submitting a competitive offer. In a financing contingency, the buyer agrees to diligently and in good faith obtain a designated loan, whether it's conventional, FHA, VA, seller financing, etc., for the purchase of the property within 17 days. Keep in mind though, every situation is different and it's not necessarily always 17 days. 17 days is just standard every contract is different. If the buyer is unable to qualify for the designated loan, they may cancel. Another contingency is reliant on a certified appraiser valuing the current state of the property without improvements or repairs at the agreed upon purchase price within the standard 17 days. The seller may request a written copy of the appraisal for any cancellation by the buyers based on the property not appraising at value. This does not have to be the final nail in the coffin on your escrow. You as a buyer have other options to save the sale if the property does not appraise. For now though, we are moving on to investigation contingencies. Jen, take it away. The investigation contingencies allows the buyer the standard 17 days to perform various investigations on the property by licensed or certified professionals, included but not limited to home inspections, pest inspections, and septic inspections. The list goes on. If for any reason the buyer decides not to accept the condition of the findings, they have the right to cancel the contract. As a seller, especially on an as-is property, you may consider performing these inspections prior to listing to approve transparency, attracting qualified serious buyers. Please note that as a buyer, whether the seller performs inspections or not, you will also receive disclosures on potential natural hazards, seller and agent visual inspections. Serena, would you please briefly describe the disclosure contingency? The disclosure contingency broadly describes the review of the seller's document, including but not limited to the seller's disclosing occupancy, leased or leaned items, HOA documents, 
transfer disclosure statement, common interest disclosure, or natural hazard disclosure. After hearing all those, here comes the overwhelm. Don't worry, we are here to help review each of these documents with you, whether you are a buyer or a seller. This will allow you to make the best informed decision for your specific circumstances. For those of you still tuned in, Jen will cover the last contingency on title disclosure. The title contingency gives the buyer time to investigate that the property has a clean title. We will review with you documents affecting the title, including documents or deeds referenced in the preliminary title report, and any plotted easements. Examples you may discover are a mechanics lien or overdue taxes, both of which as a buyer you would not want to assume with the purchase of the property, giving you the right to cancel your contract. Serena, why don't you answer a few questions clients ask when considering removing contingencies or canceling a contract, such as does contingency removal have to be in writing? Well, Jen, all contingencies according to the CAR purchase agreement must be removed in writing and signed. Until this happens, the buyer or seller has the right to cancel based on the open contingencies. Serena, can a buyer cancel for any reason with open contingencies? No, Jen. The cancellation right depends on the specific contingencies as we mentioned earlier. The investigation contingency really is the broadest of all the contingencies, giving the buyer the right to cancel if in good faith they are dissatisfied with the condition of any of the investigations. Jen, what does happen to the buyer's deposit if they cancel? Serena, generally the buyers retain their deposit since the buyer's right to cancel is not a breach of contract and the seller cannot claim damages. However, our duty as agents is not to guarantee that the buyers will retain their deposit. If the seller refuses to release the deposit from escrow, the dispute may go to court or arbitration. The contingency information and timelines we mentioned are thoroughly outlined in the CAR RPA, which we discuss individually with each of our clients on a case-by-case -case basis, whether representing the buyer or the seller. We hope our quick contingency guide reduces the overwhelm and trepidation to beginning your next step on your real estate journey. Give us a call anytime to chat about your real estate questions or for guidance. We are here to help make this an enjoyable experience and create relationships that last a lifetime. Learn more about buyer and seller tips by clicking the links below. You can also click the link below to download your free relocation guide if you are considering moving to Paso Robles or the beautiful Central Coast. See you next time. Cheers. Great. No, but my brain is fine. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Okay, stand by. Yes. No, Jen. <laughs> nope, I'm done. <laughs> We're almost done. For those of you still listening, the fins fall asleep. <laughs> It is, it's oh, like, oh, gosh, no. there you go. <laughs> For those of you who are still listening, thank you. <laughs> I love that. Hey. <laughs>